So you just got done with a great day of skiing or boarding when suddenly... Uh-oh, you haven't eaten all day. Well, lucky for you, the sitting bull is right at the main base lodge. Come on, let's go see who's cooking. After entering, I was greeted by Rick Doyle, manager of the sitting bull. When they built the base lodge in 1969, I believe it was, uh, every ski area had a lounge. I started here in 1980, uh, and over the years we've had a series of uh, people that have been here for many years. On the wall over here behind us are, are numerous pictures of uh, the Okimo family. The Sitting Bull staff encourages all guests to add their own photos to these wall montages. So many of them are of uh, former staff members, some still here, some have moved on, some have passed on. When the restaurant opened, it was built with a fireplace in the center. This has since been removed and replaced by an outdoor fire ring, which guests can sit and relax by. The Sitting Bull serves up pub favorites including cheesesteaks, panini and other sandwiches, salads, quesadillas, chicken tenders and wings tossed in your choice of sauce, Oh, and did I mention nachos? Yeah, we do a nachos grande that's out of this world that will probably feed you for about three days. These nachos start with corn chips and are piled high with a bean and corn mix and cheese before being broiled to a golden brown. They're then topped with salsa, tomatoes and olives, jalapenos, and are finished with a scoop of sour cream and guacamole. When Allie brought them out to us, I could hardly believe my eyes. Whoa, <laughs> that looks so good. That is good. Okay, thank you, thank you. Mm. That is so good. Man. So hey, after a long day of skiing, got the munchies come on in to the Sitting Bull, best nachos in town. Man. In Vermont. <laughs> in the U.S. <laughs> mm. In addition to food, the Sitting Bull offers a full bar and tap with some great local selections. Whether you're coming in for a quick bite or hanging out with family and friends, the Sitting Bull has what it takes to satisfy.